Hey everybody, Steve Collins here with Flip Your Finances. Uh, I want to start this day off with a happy Thursday. We're going into Friday, into the weekend, so congratulations to everybody that, uh, you know, buckled down, got through the week, um, hopefully did some good financial, uh, you know, prospecting anyways, learned a few things, read a few, uh, things about uh, managing your finances a little bit better. Hopefully you listened to my last podcast about managing your finances uh, for the holiday season. So um, I'm I'm trying to make it as legit as possible for the time of the year. So that way we can kind of listen and learn and do as we're doing. So um, uh, if you haven't seen it or listened to it, check it out. Um, today I want to talk about, uh, it's kind of related. It's, it's more on the financial end, uh, of everything. And as I've kind of posted in several different social media sites, um, I wanted to talk about that wonderful moment where, um, two individuals have been hanging out. They've been falling in love. They have been sharing intimate, uh, situations and, going places and having fun and having laughs and meeting people and having a good time and actually being able to be themselves and finding joy in that together. So what's that mean? Oh, that person has popped the question, will you marry me? Yes, I will. And so the time happens where you need to start planning for that wonderful, magical moment, that one in a lifetime event, hopefully one in a lifetime for some of you, two or three, sometimes four. Um, But that magical moment that you don't get very often, let's say that, um, where you get to finally bring your friends and your family to meet the other side of the spectrum, the other side of the family, where you get to show off and showboat and have a good time, have a wonderful DJ, have beautiful decorations, and have the time of your life. A commitment, a symbolization of just committing yourselves to each other hopefully for the rest of your lives. I do. So with that being said, marriage is expensive. Not so much the wedding um, vows and the license to be married, but the lavishing lifestyle of getting married, finding that magical place, getting all the magical flowers and decorations and uh, everything that your little heart desired for the longest time since you were a little boy or little girl um, that you dreamt about for many years. Here is the moment. The moment is coming and you want to make it magical. Well, magic requires money. Big surprise, right? So we have to somehow budget for this special event. Yes, maybe your parents may pay for some of it. Traditionally speaking, they may. But if you're like myself or many millions of people out there, we didn't get that paid. You know, it's... definitely something that um, requires a lot of planning, a lot of savings, and a lot of money. So what we need to do, if that time has come and you have popped the question or you are thinking about popping the question, you should have already been saving your money and trying to figure out how you're going to make this the best day of your life. Now, that means cutting back on practically everything in life that you enjoy. Unfortunately, you're going to have to cut back on every single thing that you normally do. But it should be 
perfect and okay for yourself because you know that you're doing it for a good cause, right? Easier said than done. As we all make plans, as we all talk about doing all kinds of things like exercising, New Year's resolutions, stop smoking, uh, quit gambling, um, you name it, somehow a lot of times we fall off that bus and we have to pick ourselves back up and try again. So it's not as easy as said. You really have to stay focused. You really have to make a plan. And this is where I suggest if you are a male or female and you're talking and thinking about popping that question, start packing the money away now. And the reason I say that is because, yes, maybe that's not the game plan in the end. Because the point is, is to have a game plan with each other and figure out how and what costs you can cut and how you can work maybe some extra overtime, pick up a few extra side jobs to make that income to stash away, to hold on to or pay the down payments or pay the, the initial fees for the DJs, the place, the dress, all those critical crucial things in having that moment that magical moment you must do so packing money away now start saving your money start uh, just uh, cutting back on subscriptions don't go out to eat try to stay home more definitely don't go out partying and drinking with friends um, it's okay to go out and have a good time but now's the time to save it only is going to take a sacrifice of potentially six months a year, and then you're back to the normal you. And actually, when you do these things, you may actually get a little bit more smarter and more responsible and not have to do some of the things that you were doing before to ensure that you were having a good time or a good life. Marriage is that magical moment where you're going to share many things with this individual. So nothing and no better time to start having the conversations about finances, money, money management, and all the dreams that you have for the future for you and that soon-to-be husband or wife. If you're thinking about, hey, I want to have a house soon, I want to have five children, it is critical to make sure that we share that information to our significant other, the one that we're planning on spending the rest of our life with, and explain that now. Because if that is not their dreams, that is not their passion, and they are going to refuse to do that later on down your lives, it's potentially a big red flag that you're not, let me repeat, you're not going to make it. It's going to be extremely hard to not have the same views, not have the same dreams, or at least a shared perspective of a dream. You have to have the same wants and dreams to be able to be happy with a person for a long period of time. Yes, love will make you feel some kind of way, and love will make you change who you are for a period of time. But let me warn you that that love does fade to some extent, and the real you comes back out. The real them comes back out. Your wants and your dreams that you had when you were a kid or younger do start to come back out. They start to shine bright in your life once again. So you need to ensure that you are all on the same page so you can work towards those goals so you can have the life you always dreamed. So make sure that you are focused on anything that you can be focused on that you want to succeed in 
and that you want to do. Now, to save yourself some money as well for that wonderful wedding and that wonderful moment is starting to utilize your friends and your family. Now, if they are who they say they are and they love you for what they say they do, then asking them a simple favor of potentially decorating for your wedding. And these are great things that you can get as a gift instead of getting gifts from a registry. Say, you know what? Sister, I want you to decorate my wedding. That's what I want as a gift. I want that specialness that you can offer. You know, and and do and do it yourself projects are perfect and they're going to be fine. Nobody knows that you didn't uh, hire somebody and spend $10,000 on table placements. I promise you. Most men are never going to notice. And the women that go there are going to complain and make fun of you no matter what. So it doesn't matter. You're going to have to just do what is right for you. So that way you can go on that Sandals St. Lucia vacation or honeymoon right after getting married. Or, you know, being able to take some time off from work to just love each other. Or, you know, put that down payment on an FHA loan or some kind of USDA loan or something that can get you in a nice starter home to start that new future with that significant other. And if you decide to have those children, trust me, from a man that has four daughters under the age 15, they are not cheap. They are not easy. There will be many nights that are hard to sleep, many nights that will stress you out. That is going to be a guarantee. But the love that I get is extremely worth it. So you just never know what that will bring for you. Now, yes, it will be more financially stressed and a little bit more financially uh, um, hard. But just like the love and the person that you're marrying, the children, the home that you create, and everything else will be well worth it in the end. So saving your money, cutting back on subscriptions, doing everything that you can to save your money, even gas and accessories and hair dyeing and nails and all these things that we are so accustomed to spending our money on add up over time as you don't do them. So not saying to let yourself go and become, you know, this natural person with no makeup because you just don't want to spend the money. You don't want to do anything, you want to save that money. No, I'm not saying go to that extreme. I'm saying to cut back what you can, what you feel comfortable doing, and save that money for these special times. Watch some kids. Do what you can do. Donate some of your time. Go pick up some yards. Ask a neighbor if you can help with something. Talk to your friends, your families. And say, hey, I'm really looking to have the ultimate wedding. I need some extra cash. Do you know or have any options for me to pick up some spare money? You can ask anybody you know. You can ask your parents. You can ask your friends. Or you can even look online for some side jobs and side hustles. You could even work at McDonald's if you really feel that you have a few extra hours a week that you can start stashing that money away. And at the end, once you guys start discussing this, you start working towards these goals, not just one person, but both of you, because this is a long-term investment for both of you. You know, you are going to have to take on the burdens of each other, and you're going to have to learn how to do things unselfishly for other people, and that would be your significant other. So... You're going to have to figure out how to do things that aren't always about yourself. And just remember that, because that will lead to a happy marriage. Men, women, both of you, listen. Not doing things selfishly will help you 
have a nice, healthy, long marriage. Think of that other person. Do things for that other person. Be thoughtful. Even when they tell you that it's stupid that you're getting them flowers or they don't like the holiday. They don't believe in Valentine's Day. I don't give a shit. Don't listen to them and do it anyways because it's the thought that counts and it shows the love that you have for that individual for all times but this is super important to make sure that you have a good wedding and a good marriage and it's not stressful don't overspend and do whatever you need to do to try to save your money to have a very happy one now remember that it's not about everybody else it's not about your friends it's not about your family It's about you. So make sure that you're doing what makes you happy. Don't waste all your money on showing off to everybody else that's going to show up there. Make sure that you're true to yourself and that you are happy. And you are doing things that make you happy. Because it's about you. It's not about keeping up with the Joneses. It's not about being flashy. It's not about pleasing everybody else and making sure that they have a good time. It's about you and your spouse. So remember that. Remember to save. Remember to love each other. And remember to have the time of your life. And that concludes this podcast. Flip your finances. My name is Steve Collins. Thanks for listening, y'all. Have a good night.